name is Phil Biju. My roll number is 70. The topic assigned to me is multi-stage centrifugal pumps. Multi-stage centrifugal pumps. If a centrifugal pump consists of two or more impellers, the pump is called a multi-stage centrifugal pump. The impellers can be mounted on the same shaft as well as on different shafts. Now, a multi-stage centrifugal pumps can have two functions mainly. One is to produce a high head. If there is a requirement to produce a high head, it is used. Now, in that case, the impellers are connected in series. That is, they are connected on the same shaft. Now, to discharge a large quantity of liquid, that is another function of multi-stage centrifugal pumps. If a large quantity discharge is required, the impellers are connected in parallel. Now we'll look into detail about these two types of multi-stage centrifugal pumps. First, we're going to look at multi-stage centrifugal pump for high heads. So in order to develop a high head, a number of impellers are used in series on the same shaft as shown in the figure. You can see that it's a it's uh, the both the impellers are connected to the same shaft over here. So the water from the suction pipe enters into the first impeller. This is the first impeller at the inlet and is discharged at outlet with increased pressure. So on the outlet of the first impeller, it is discharged with high pressure. Now, the water with increased pressure from outlet of the first impeller is taken to the inlet of the second impeller. This is the second impeller. And again the pressure is increased. This is done using uh, this either called a connecting pipe and also called as a guided passage. And at the outlet of the second impeller, the pressure of the water will definitely be more than the pressure of the water at the outlet of the first impeller. So thus we can conclude that if more impellers are mounted on the same shaft, the pressure at the outlet will be increased further. Now looking at the mathematical side of it. If n is the number of identical impellers mounted on the same shaft, so in this figure we have two impellers and hm head by each impeller, the total head can be calculated by this formula that is total head is equal to n into hm. Now moving on to multi-stage centrifugal pumps for high discharge. So for obtaining high discharge, the pumps should be connected in parallel as shown here. It is connected in parallel. Each of the pump lifts the water from a common sump. So here the thing is that there will be a common sump as well as a common pipe. So the pump lifts the water from a common sump and discharges water to a common pipe. So it's a common pipe. To which the delivery pipes of each pump is connected. So this will be pump 1 and this will be pump 2 and the delivery pipes are connected to the common pipe. And another thing to be noted is each of the pump is working against the same head. So this will be pump 1, this will be pump 2 and the common sump is this and water will be taken in and it, will, it, will, it is delivered to the same, I mean the common pipe. So coming to the mathematics, mathematical side of it, if n is the number of identical pipes, I mean pumps arranged in parallel and q is the discharge from one pipe, the total discharge can be given by n into q. So that is what we have to say in general about multi-stage centrifugal pumps. So uh, for a brief, centrifugal pumps are pumps which have two or more impellers which are connected to the same or different shaft and they have two functions mainly to produce a high head in which we use series connection and to produce large quantity of liquid to discharge large quantity of liquid in which impellers are connected in parallel. I hope it is clear. Thank you.